Hey, this is the pizza here, and I'm going to be doing the rest of the Call of Duty 1 ship mission on Veteran, and giving some tips and tricks on how to get through it without dying. Well, I happen to get through it without actually taking any hits, so, you know, hopefully if you follow the same strategy, you'll be able to do the same without too much difficulty. So at the very beginning of this point, just stay by the stairs and wait for these guys to come and attack you. There will usually be four enemies that run out and charge you. And here's a nifty spot right here. You, I could see the guy just standing there. So, shot him in the face a couple times. But yeah, you can shoot through these uh, circles. So, And if you position yourself just right, there's this one corner that enemies will usually come around. And I'm aiming right at it here. But the guy I just shot in front of me uh, was... It was the guy that's usually back there so no one happened to be there this time and don't charge out in, fr in the front of this hangar go as far back as possible and I heard someone walking up on me so take him out so like I said do not go near the front of this hangar yet because there are two enemies on the platform up above me which I think I'll get to right now yes Oh, maybe not. So this was actually one of the more odd of the times I tried this. The other times the enemies usually just stayed back at the walls and tried to shoot me from a distance. But this time, for whatever reason, they decided to charge me. But uh, luckily none of them managed to get any shots off at me. So there will be no more enemies from the left side and you'll only have to worry about enemies from the right. And here if you go prone right here you can see the legs of the soldier there. And shoot him and take him out. So there's always two soldiers up at the top there. Even if you don't see him right away there will always be two. So keep that in mind. Like right now I still don't see him. Then I just go like that. Oh, what do you know? There he is. Maybe he spawns up there after you kill the second guy. I don't know. So just hang back in this corner for a while. We're almost done with this part. Think that's it. Nope, never mind. Just take your time on this part because the enemies will keep coming and uh, just, you know, wait for maybe. 30 45 seconds after you've killed an enemy. If any if another enemy comes, then uh then kill him, of course. And uh if no more enemies come, maybe throw a grenade. A precautionary grenade, and if you hear a German scream, then you know there is still an enemy there. Like here I do that. And I didn't hear anything. So I decided, all right, I think I've taken everyone out. And you'll notice me going prone across the deck right here. That's because I'm just really making sure I don't get shot. Because sometimes enemies will still pop out around that corner. And the staircase right in front of me, you can, can't really make it out too well here, but you can see the guardrails. I'm aiming at it right now. Uh, an enemy will come up from there sometimes. Just watch out. So now I'm going to go back into the ship. Okay, there's going to be a guy at the top of this staircase. Then you want to move up to the top of this staircase. And there's not going to be anyone right at the top. But don't go charging up because right around this doorway, there he is. He'll always be standing there, just waiting for you. And pick up his ammo. Then there won't be anyone at the top of this one either, but look to your left. Because that guy will run across all the time. If you can get him while he's running, uh, that's usually the best option. And there's your objective right there. I'm shooting at it. You're supposed to destroy the radio communication. And if you bounce a grenade off that block right there, then you can destroy the second one as well without having to go into the room. I'm not sure if that affects the spawn at spawns at all, but... 
So just a neat way to get the second objective. And the guy will always come out of this door as well. So I pre-fired. Killed him. And then there's also going to be a guy at the top of this staircase. And at the top of this staircase. I can't remember if this was the time I got really lucky or if it was the other time. No, this was it. <laughs> okay, so I try to throw some grenades up there to clear out the... There's The captain is up there waiting for you. There's also a guy in the windows who will shoot you. And so here, just trying to find the captain and there he is. So I get stuck on the guardrail right there. This guy chases me down the stairs. And I managed to turn around and shoot him. I was just really lucky he didn't hit me. So there's going to be... A guy in the window right there. And now he's down, so the captain will always be waiting up in this room. He usually be waiting um, if you're going up the staircase and look behind you. So that was also the next checkpoint as soon as you pick up the papers there. Okay, so now we're in the home stretch. Finishing up this mission, all we have to do is get down to the deck and make it to the boat with... Uh, the guy we were with then, not Captain Price, but the other guy. So you want to uh, take out those two guys on the side platforms. And then after that, you want to go down to the room where you destroyed the radios. And then over here. And take out these guys. And there will always be two guys on each side right here. So there's one guy on this side. Always make sure they're dead. The other guy will be popping out momentarily. There he is. So down he goes. Then you'll see while I was killing those guys, another guy spawned on this side. And unfortunately I actually missed that first shot. But luckily he has bad aim. And you could see he turned around there and looked at the boat. It's uh, right by that light on the... Slightly to the right of where that last guy I shot was. And sometimes they'll do that, they'll turn around and look at the boat, and sometimes even attempt to shoot the guy in the boat. Can't do any harm. All it really does is give away their position. And so when you're coming out of this door, be very careful and look to the left. Because this guy will be just waiting there with an MP40 to shoot you in the back. So luckily I got him with that shot. Oh, never mind. Thought I did. Pops his head out right there. Got a good angle on him, and I take him out. So be sure to look to the left when you go out of that door, or else he will catch you off guard, shoot you in the back, and possibly kill you. Now I'm making my way across the deck here. There's a guy right there, and a guy actually happened to walk in front of him. He spawned and walked in front of him, and I just shot the guy. So I got those two, throwing a grenade back here to make sure no one's hiding. there wasn't so now there's usually three guys at this part the first guy I killed when I first came out of the door and shot the guy on the left the second guy was the one I shot with the car 98k um, as I was aiming at the other guy so the guy I shot on accident and then the third guy on the staircase will usually run down the staircase and shoot you in the back and he's highly annoying so, being very cautious here, going up the stairs. Shoot him. And, uh, so again, always be sure to pay attention to your surroundings. Make sure our area is clear. And I saw a guy going up the stairs here. They came out. And I believe that's the last enemy on this mission. Or there's one more. Yes, there's one more enemy. And down he goes. So that was the ship mission. I uh, got through using only the checkpoints on veteran. So hopefully gave some useful tips for anyone who's having a lot of trouble with this level. It took me a little, little while. Uh... I have to say the either the very first part or the very last part are the hardest.
the middle part isn't too bad once you know where everyone spawns. But other than that, that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.